Good afternoon, everyone. A good, quieter afternoon, everyone. The parish community of St. Mary's wishes to extend a warm welcome to all who come to worship here with us, especially all visitors. This weekend, we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter. The Knights of Columbus Council 4480 is offering financial awards to those 2021 graduating seniors who are planning to further their education. Applicants must be practicing Catholics at St. Joseph or St. Mary parishes. Go to our website at saintsmaryjoseph.org for an application. That's stsmaryjoseph.org. At this Mass, we remember in a special way Irene Amato. Please stand and greet our celebrant, Father Cullity. Good afternoon. Welcome all of you as we gather to continue our Easter journey. I have no idea why you people got stuck with me two weeks in a row, but that's life. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. But let us ask the Lord to be close to us as we join together this afternoon in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And as we gather in prayer this afternoon, we first pause, as always, so that we might call to mind our own failings and ask our loving God for gifts of forgiveness and of peace. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God. You are the Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. And you are the Good Shepherd who calls each one of us to everlasting life, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of 
of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a sheer in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are beginning to examine today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given in the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princess. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and they will be one flock, one shepherd. That is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was about six or seven years old, my mother took me to Jordan Marsh right before Christmas to have a talk with Santa Claus. And I whispered in his ear that all I wanted for Christmas that year was a pony. I think I've been watching too many Westerns. So I fully expected running down Christmas morning to open the garage door and there would be a pony. There was no pony. And Santa Claus must have realized that how was a six or seven-year-old kid going to raise a pony in Brighton, Massachusetts? I knew nothing about animals. Today is often referred to as Good Shepherd Sunday, And I realized I didn't know much about sheep either. But I googled sheep because I realized that tons of times sheep are mentioned in the Bible. They were a very important source of income for people. You could shear the sheep and sell the wool. You could use the sheep for food. I always thought sheep were kind of stupid. 
but they really are quite smart. They can recognize a voice, they can recognize a face, but the only problem is they're very vulnerable to predators. And so as the gospel tells us today, very important to have a reliable shepherd, a shepherd who would in fact put his own life in danger in order to save the sheep from a predator. And that's why Jesus refers to himself very often as the, the good shepherd who is willing to lay down his life for the sheep. And just a few weeks ago, we celebrated Good Friday when we heard once again that Jesus' love for each and every one of us wasn't just a matter of mere words, but was seen in his actions, especially the fact that he was willing to suffer and die on the cross out of love for each one of us. And so reflecting on that fact this past week, I asked myself a question. What do I need to add to my life or perhaps eliminate from my life to put my words of faith into action so that my faith isn't just a matter of words but seen in my deeds done every day? Do I have to remove maybe a bit of anger from my life? Not being patient with others as much as I could be? Maybe especially to be patient with the people I live with each and every day? Do I need to be a bit more forgiving? A bit slower to judge? and quick to forgive others. Because we really never know what's going on behind the scenes in another person's life. Do I have to remove from my heart certain prejudices? Maybe I need to add in a bit more humility, realizing I don't have all the answers. And maybe by listening to the point of view of another, I can grow in my understanding. Maybe I need to spend a little more time each day in prayer. Maybe I need to open the words of the Bible and really see how the Lord is teaching me how to live my life. Maybe I could be a bit more generous with my time and my treasure. Maybe reaching out to those people less fortunate than myself. Maybe a quick phone call or a visit to someone who was alone. Maybe has lost all their family members. Maybe that act of charity puts my words of faith into action. Jesus not only spoke about how much he cared and loved each and every one of us. If we wish to be good shepherds for others, may our words be reflected in the daily actions of our lives. Now, if I could ask you to please join me as together we profess our faith in the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus has promised that whenever two or three gather together in his name, he is truly present among us. And so now with great confidence, we make known to the Lord our prayers and our needs. For the church, that we may distinguish the voice of the good shepherd from all the other messages that we hear and faithfully respond to all Christ's invitations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For bishops, for priests, and all who minister in the church, that they may draw strength and inspiration from the good shepherd. Model in word and deed Christ's dedication to the children of God and serve their communities with the heart of the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater stewardship of the earth, that God will inspire us to care for God's creation and ensure that it benefits all of God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are burdened by debt in the third world, that the Good Shepherd will touch hearts and open our understanding toward the longings and hopes of all who struggle with poverty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For children in dangerous situations, that God will protect the children at the border, those who live in areas of warfare and violence, or who home life is unsafe from harm and injury, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for me, Amado, whom today's Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give you thanks for the many ways you have heard and answered our prayers in the past. We present these needs before you this day and pray that they might be granted if they are in accord with your will and plan for us. And as always, we pray to you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Please pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Easter mysteries, so that the continual renewal at work within us may be our cause of unending joy. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. You're very quiet today. Did I put you to sleep during that sermon? The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. May call thee afford these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew so that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks 
that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, all the clergy and faithful. Remember also our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, especially Irene, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, at our Savior's command, for on by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with those nearest some sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, lest are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Is not the cup we bless and share the blood of Christ outpoured? Do not one cup, one loaf declare our oneness in the Lord. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. The mystery of your presence, Lord, no mortal tongue can tell. Whom all the world cannot contain Comes in our hearts to dwell You satisfy the hungry heart With gift of finest wheat Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. This couple <clears throat> invited their elderly pastor over to the house for Sunday dinner. And the parents were kind of busy in the kitchen, and the old priest was sitting out in the living room, so they sent their eight-year-old son out to keep him company. And there wasn't much conversation going on, so finally the priest said to the little boy, do you know what we're having for dinner? The little boy said, yes, we're having old goat. And the priest said, are you sure? The little boy said, yeah. When we left Mass this morning after you said Mass, my father said to my mother, remember, we're having the old goat for dinner today. <laughs> All right. Now you think it's easy blending a pony, sheep, and a goat together in one Mass. I mean, that takes a lot of intellect. But... Uh, Thank you very much for putting up with me, and also thank you for being here today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration of this Mass is now ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord by loving and serving one another. Thanks be to God. singing